Er everybody caught up this far? Okay. Now let's copy paste some of the code from the previous example. So let's grab the first four lines, the top four lines, copy it, and paste it. So we are using the key generator. Still, we are using a secret key. We are using a cipher to generate a cipher on uh, this padding mechanism. And we are initializing it on the key. So the ciphering process is exactly the same. What will be different here is that we will now be using files. So we will have a file input stream object, which will allow me to read data that I would like to, cite, to encrypt. And this data is coming from text1.txt. Similarly, I will have a file output stream. This is where the encrypted data will go. So that's my file output stream. In the past, we have only used these two streams if I'm grabbing data from one source and pushing into the other source. But now what do I have to do different here? What do I have to do different is before I write the data, I have to encrypt it. Okay. So I have my data in the file input stream. I will encrypt it and will then put it in file output stream. So to encrypt the data, we have cipher input stream, which allows you to stream the ciphered data. which is new cipher input stream that can take an object of file input stream type and on what standards you want to cipher. So I have my cipher object there and I have my file input stream object there. So right now I'm just setting up my objects. I have not started the process yet. And I also need a byte array for transferring data. So the data was in text one, which I pushed in FIS. Then I pushed the data from FIS into CIS, where the data is in the cipher form, which is encrypted. Now I need to push this from the CIS into FOS, which is my file output string. So to do that, I'm using a byte array. First of all, I will read only one byte. If the read operation is a success, then I will hold a positive value. If I run out of values in my stream, then I will be equals to a negative one. So I need to write a loop, which will be that keep reading as long as I is not equals to a negative one, which, is me, which means stream ran out of data. Every time I read something, I'm writing it to the file output stream. So data written to the file output stream. Then I go and read the data again into my byte. And I keep doing it 
till I run out of values. Then here in the system dot out dot print ln done refresh project to see the new text file. So as I run this application or this program, if it doesn't errors out or goes to the catch, it will tell me done refresh project to see the new text file. So I will simply right click on my project and refresh. As a result, I'll see one additional text file, which I will double click and notice how the data is ciphered. I never push these weird characters. So plain text was converted into encrypted text.